Today is the day I install the final mods on the sat van. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today might be the last mod that I do to the sat van. I'm saying that so I hopefully like jinx myself, but honestly, I don't really plan on doing much more to the van. I love the setup the way that it is. However, Backwoods Adventure Mods reached out to me and they hooked it up with some swag. So right here was the very first mod that I did to the van. This is the Backwoods Adventure Mod front bumper. I packed that thing full of LED lights from Rigid, of course a Warren winch, and after taking it all over the place, all around the country, it is still in really good shape. I believe there was one mark on it. Yeah, right there. There's a little bit of wear on it because I had a gnarly winch recovery when I was out in Death Valley. Completely my fault, but that thing's great. Now if we look over here, we now have a rear bumper to match the front. Now this really isn't gonna be an instructional video. They have some good information shipping with the bumper. They have some videos online. This is gonna be a more laid back, relaxed video, hopefully relaxed, and you guys can hang out while I'm kinda of sitting around here working on the van. All right, we're gonna start this process right over here by digging at these plastic panels here. I believe I have to pop this one out to remove some screws here. We're gonna be removing each corner of the bumper. The middle comes off in a section of its own. And this is my least favorite thing. Plastic clips on bumpers like this break all the time, so hopefully I don't break anything. Probably would have been nice to wash the van before this, but now that we got this pulled off, a little screwdriver to pop this off, we're moving right along. Now we're moving to the inside of the van. We got some torque screws all around here holding these plastic pieces on. I'm just gonna keep prying at stuff until we get all of the plastic removed. Just a few of those plastic clips. And now we have access to the sensors right here. Now it's important to note the position of these sensors because I'm going to be reinstalling these in the new bumper. You wanna make sure that you reinstall them the exact same way. Huh. I really should have cleaned this thing. Now that all of the plastic is off, we're getting into some of the more fun stuff. I'm gonna have to remove the trailer plug on here and I believe I'm actually going to have to completely remove this metal bracket in here. This thing is all damaged anyway from some off-road adventures when I was out in Moab, so I'm not too sad to see that go. I'm gonna remove this whole assembly and then reinstall this into the new bumper once it is mounted up. Now when we come underneath the van, you'll see these bolts right here. They are the same on each side, and I'm actually gonna be removing these to mount up new brackets, which will come out around here. Hopefully my airline for onboard air is not in the way. If it is, I may have to move that over a little bit. But we're gonna mount up the brackets here, which the aluminum bumper will then mount to. If I remove these bolts and then slowly place the new longer bolts through, I shouldn't have to remove this entire assembly, so I'm going to attempt that right now. One more thing, I have to remove this hitch step. Since the new bumper already has one built into it, the front bumper from Backwoods actually has a hitch receiver, so I can move this thing up to the front now if I want. All right, about 20 minutes later, and I've got the old hardware off with the new hardware just loosely holding the hitch in place. I did have to remove my little gray tank tube storage device. That will definitely be in the way once I mount up the new bumper. I think I might be able to get away with leaving this here. I believe there will be enough clearance here for a hose to fit behind the air connection. So now I will lay under here again and mount up the new brackets. Nope, definitely have to remove this bracket. Now 
Now I need to re-drill a hole through the pinch weld, that way I can remount that airline. All right guys, about 20 minutes later and I have the brackets mounted up. I have these things fairly loose right now because once we mount the bumper up to it, we'll snug everything down and then I'll go under there and make some fine tuning adjustments. That way everything is sitting nice and flush. It is now time to take the sensors and the hitch plug and install them in the new bumper. All right guys, after about 30 minutes, we finally have everything installed now. I have the blind spot detection sensors mounted up with these plastic plates so they still work. Pathfinder lights also coming from Backwoods Adventure Mod and trailer hitch. Now it's time to mount this thing up and I might need a hand for this part. We're getting pretty close now. So I have the bumper loosely mounted onto the brackets now. I'm gonna go under there, tighten up the brackets, and then I'll do a little bit of fine tuning to get the bumper into position, snug everything up, connect all the connectors. I'm probably gonna save the wiring on the floodlights for another day. And then I'll reinstall two little pieces of plastic trim, and we should be done. Hey guys, it's about three days later since I last talked to you because I ran into a major technical difficulty. As I was working on the rear bumper, my camera was sitting as low as it can possibly go on my tripod, and I'm not sure if you can tell from the footage throughout that entire day, but it was extremely windy. When I was sort of looking away from the camera, grabbing some tools and stuff like that, somehow a huge gust came and completely knocked my camera over on the tripod slammed into the ground and completely destroyed it. So my screen was hanging off, my microphone jack was broken and everything. So this video is ending up being a little bit more expensive than I intended on it being, but I got a new body. The old body has already been sent back to Canon for repair, so we're gonna continue on with this video. Of course, I have finished the bumper now, so take a peek. The overall fit and finish of this thing is awesome. I love that it matches the front bumper. It just makes everything look a lot more rugged. And honestly, it doesn't add that much weight to it. In the back here where I had my hitch step, I now have a step that is a little bit higher integrated into the bumper and that makes living out of the van a lot easier. Oftentimes I stand on the back there to make the bed and to pull stuff out of the back. So that is a super nice touch. The blind spot sensors are mounted behind these plastic plates right here. I have the lights, which are actually not wired up right now. I had to extend the wiring harness, so I still need to plug that in and drill a hole in the front dash in order to get those things working, but I'll do that as soon as it's warm. And then right here, trailer plug, functional as always, and that allows my hitch to be open to tow stuff, which I will be doing here in the future. Now I've relocated my old hitch step to the front, so now I got a big battering ram on the front of the van. And that rear bumper just really tied things together. Now along with the rear bumper, right when my camera broke, I decided to do another install because Backwoods Adventure Mods sent out a new ladder to match the entire van. Unfortunately, my camera was down for the past three days, so I didn't get to film the install, but I'll give you guys a rundown of the ladder and why I prefer this one now. So this right here is the Backwoods Adventure Mod ladder specifically fit for the Revel. So I really didn't have to do a whole lot of heavy modification. I just removed my old ladder and this one attaches right to the stock roof rack up there. Down here on the bottom, you can see that I have this thing mounted right into the pinch weld where my old ladder was. And then if we climb the ladder, it attaches right to the top like this with some little U-bolts inside there and this thing is completely solid. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was really not a fan of this ladder when I first saw it because every time I've seen the backwoods ladder mounted to a sprinter van, it didn't have the front and rear bumpers to match. I wasn't even planning on installing this ladder, however, after I got the rear bumper installed, my aluminous ladder that was on there it was just looking kind of wimpy. So I went through with this upgrade and I am very glad that I did. It pulls the whole look of the van together. 
and I love everything about it. I donated my old ladder to my friends Will and Courtney who are building out this ProMaster right here in front of me, so they will be putting that thing to good use. Now, why do I like this ladder over the Illuminus? Other than aesthetics, one thing that I like is that these steps are a lot wider. As you can see, I already put some grip tape on there because of course when it's wet, snowy and icy, these things will get a little bit slippery. But I like that the steps are wider because oftentimes in the summer I'm climbing this ladder either barefoot, if I'm on the beach or something like that, or also in flip-flops. And when you're climbing on a tiny little round bar like this, it's just really not that comfortable. Now the other thing, and probably most important, is that previously my ladder would come up here and it mounted directly into these rails. This ladder mounts up here to the roof rack, and because of that, it gives me this top step right here. Previously, I would kind of put my foot down here and stand on the roof in between this roof rack, and it just wasn't that comfortable, wasn't that safe. Now, I've also gripped this top step. I can come up here and stand right on top of the van. Obviously, I don't have much else to stand on up here because of all of my solar, the max tracks and AC and whatnot. But this top step alone makes me like this ladder just a little bit more. So I'm super happy that I went through with this upgrade and not gonna lie, looks pretty sick. Now I know I started this video by saying that this was going to be my last mod and I was saying that to sort of jinx myself and I already have. I got more Sprinter parts coming in the mail in the next week or so, so stay tuned for the next mod to the sat van. This one might be a little bit over the top, might be ridiculous to some, but it's gonna be sick and I'm excited for it. So stay tuned for that. I gotta give a huge thank you to Backwoods Adventure Mod for hooking the rest of the van up with a bumper and a ladder. I really appreciate you guys watching the channel and following along to what I'm doing. If you wanna find out more information on any of these products, I will leave links in the description down below. If you have any questions on install, let me know. And other than that, I think that's it. So if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.